How they doing, peeps? And good morning. And it's a sad, sad day today. This is the last one, the final one. So I'll explain why in a minute, but I'll go through the location where we are. We are at the fourth rail bridge and the two road bridges. <laughs> Obviously, it is sunrise. We did get here last night, so there will be a couple of nighttime shots that I'll put on for you after this little bit of an intro. You can see them because they were. We got some nice reflections last night, to be honest. We got some nice slack water, so it was just just reflecting from time to time. It is high tide this morning, unfortunately. I'm going to go down the bottom end as well, but for the time being, I'll put a few of the nighttime shots on. I did have a time lapse going last night as well. Whether that works or not, I don't know. But I'll set one going this morning as well. You can see one from this morning. So I'll put the nighttime shots on now, and then I'll come back to you why it's a sad day in after these images so yeah stay tuned <laughs> peeps hope you enjoy the nighttime ones i've got a few blue hour ones that i'll put up next for you but coming back to why it's the end it's the end of a scotland road trip unfortunately yeah it's been a great week well a bit longer than eight days it's been so yeah so we've ended up here at the fourth rail bridge just because it's halfway from where where we've been and <coughs> halfway back home but anyway Getting back to these competitions, I have come down to the beach I'm being very mindful of this tide because this tide is on its way in but I'm just trying to make use of some of all this green moss around here so yeah, it's looking very interesting is this I will try and get round to that side and try and get something as well around there but for the time being, I'm just making use of this but I'm still watching that tide so yeah, being very mindful of the tide as well we have got some nice texture in the clouds. Whether it's going to catch or not, I don't know. Over there, it's fairly clear. But this side, there's quite a bit of cloud. So I'm hoping when that sun rises, it'll break that. So I've set a time up going as well. So you'll see that. Excuse me. That um, big calzone is repeating from last night. <laughs> so yeah. I'll put these blue hour shots on for you for the time being. I'm going to try and get another composition. Just round here, just while this tide is on its way in. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a minute. next composition I've just come around a little bit further before this tide gets up here but I'm using this single rock which is just nicely framed around here just on a vertical orientation because on the back of the camera as you can see there oh wait when well it comes back on it's just in the middle of a shot <coughs> there you go all these rocks just lead you straight out into it <coughs> isolate isolating that singular rock in the middle as the tide's coming in so yeah you're giving something else rather than just the bridge and water so yeah it's leading you into the image so i'll put this on for the time being and then i'll move around a little bit further because this tide is coming in quick 
So I'm trying to get a reflection, but you just can't, can't get it to work. There's a little puddle down here, but yeah. <clears throat> I just cannot get it to reflect into there. I'm just not far enough away. Also, oh, not, not close enough. And I, I ain't going that close, not with this tide coming in. But for the time being, I'll bob a few of these images on now for you. Hey, let me know what you think about this place, because it's, yeah, a very interesting place, is this indeed. <laughs> Right, peaks. I think I've settled with the composition I'm going to wait for, just in case this cloud does kick off. It does look to be getting some cloud around the drawbridge there, some nice bit of colour around that side. This side doesn't look to be much yet, but what I'll do anyway, I think I'll bring the time lapse camera around this side and you can see it all happening. Because the composition wise, I've got, I've got this leading line coming in here, got this rock separated, it's on a vertical as well which I can easily swap to a horizontal but yeah it's and we'll stay with this composition I'll bring the time lapse camera around this side so you can see see what happens with this cloud right peeps we are getting a tiny bit of colour nothing much but the clouds around the bridge are absolutely fantastic if these just have to just light up for a split second then yeah be ideal because look at that it's nice and cleared over the rail bridge but look at the clouds Ooh -hoo -hoo. they are just getting a hint of colour in as you can see and through the bridge at the other side it is nice and clear so hopefully we might get some in a little bit but I'm saying, saying with the same composition, which is this one here. Put you through the camera. Just darken that down a bit for you. There you go. So it just lead round. The tide is on its turn now. So hopefully, might start to get a few reflections just as the slack water comes and goes. But yeah, just waiting for that hint of colour. But yeah, oh look. <coughs> Cloud is coming now, it is coming, right. Let me see what happens, I'll get this shot. I'll put the time lapse up for you now, and then I'll come back to you. I've just moved down a little bit further because this tide is going out now and that rock is too exposed you're getting all it's not got the full amount of water like we had before but just to the right side of it getting down low when the boats have stopped going up and down we're getting this leading line coming from the left all the way up but we're getting a, a semi reflection as well so I'm just bracketing as well just to make sure getting all the detail uh, we're not going to get the massive sunrise, I don't think, but we've got some nice cloud. So if we can bring that out in post, that could be all right, could that? But what I'll do, I'll end with all the final time lapses, I'll end with all the final images, and yeah, then it's a goodbye to Scotland. Well, for the time being. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please give us a old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Hop over to Britain in Pictures, Craig's Facebook page. Because he'll be posting quite a few photos up there from this trip we've had. And also, Big D's Instagram, I'll link below. So you can nip over to his and see. See all them as well. But if you haven't joined the Facebook group, Photo Peeps, 
join on there because no doubt there'll be a lot of images coming on there in the coming weeks by all three of us so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you again on the next one bye for now <laughs>